Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.2 just got released about, well, about a week ago. Uh, today's video is on the XFCE desktop. I've already done um, similar videos on the Cinnamon and Mate desktops. So today I'm going to talk about power options. If you have seen my previous video on 21.1 uh, creating a shutdown now key, I have another twist for you. I have a couple more commands. So that's why I left the old one there and also the new command. And also I'll show you one for a reboot. These are dedicated keys. Basically you just double click and it powers down the system, no questions asked. I'll also talk about adding stuff to your panel with a power key. And then also in your mint menu, you have a multifunction key here, but I'm also gonna show you how to add a dedicated also power keys in here. If that interests you, then uh, I would say continue watching. Filming in 1920 by 1080. All my videos have timelines and chapters, and if you're new to Mint, special welcome to you. It's a great system. So today's folks, I'm gonna be uh, just filming in the native screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 for the system. And if you need to adjust your um, resolution, there is or should be a gear symbol on your YouTube player that you can adjust accordingly. And uh, also, you can watch my videos on the big screen TVs if you got the YouTube app. With that said, I just uh, made slight changes to the icon sizes on the desktop and a little bit on the panel. Other than that, everything else is regular size. So again, Linux Mint 21.2 XFCE. So let's get going. Alt and F4. So we have the standard power key stuff. You know, you're probably used to that if you've ran this for more than a couple hours. Shut down, restart, log out, suspend, and switch user. We could also right click on the mint icon and hit properties and then go over to commands and activate shut down and restart dedicated. That's all you need to do. And now that becomes one of those that in 60 seconds I can walk away from the machine and it shuts it down. I can also force it to shut down or hit cancel. I could also go get a coffee and do the reboot thing. Now all I do is I'll walk out the door and get my coffee and come back or I can force it to restart. All right, and then the rest of your keys are pretty standard, the lock screen, and of course, let's talk about adding some stuff down here. So you could right click, panel, edit items, or add items. There are many ways to add these icons. So I'm gonna talk about the action button, this little toy. So basically I have it set here and um, I have a logout and also shutdown. You notice the timer is different on this one. It's 30 seconds. I can also force it to shut down or cancel. I can also do suspend and lock the screen or logout. I can also move this around if I want. Don't like it over here. Whatever a red line appears, I can drop it. So there's a couple of different ways to add this, by the way. So let me show you the three. So it's right click, panel, edit items. You can double click, puts it in the corner. Right click, and then you need to move it. So I'm gonna remove the key. You can click and drag it, drop it in here. I'm gonna close the box and remove it off the panel. Right click, panel, added items. So you can add or you can double click and you can drag and drop. So those are the three items. So I will add the icon this way. Now it puts it in the corner and some of you folks may want to leave it there. Okay, just some options for you. Now I got one on the opposite ends of the machine. So I have the multifunction. I have the dedicated 60 seconds. And I've got this one at 30 seconds. All right, those two options. What do these do? These are dedicated, meaning that um, it doesn't ask any questions when you double click on these. It'll shut down, both of these will shut down the system. They're, they're both the same, but they use different commands. This is a reboot or restart your machine. Anytime you use these kind of keys, any power keys in general, you should always save your work before exiting. So save your documents, save your web browser links or whatever you're working with before you shut down your system. Now, unfortunately, I can't demo this because it'll terminate my video, but these are double click icons. 
They don't ask any questions. You just double click them and they power down your system almost instantaneously. They're very fast. The safer ones to use are, of course, your standard power keys. But if you are wanting to do this, I will certainly show you how to do it. You can also put them on your panel and I'll give you some cautions when you do this. I'll start with the reboot key. All right, so it's using a very similar command as one of these keys, except it's got some options. These are called launchers. Launchers are created by right-clicking and create launcher. The most in thing, important thing about a launcher is the command line. All right, so whatever function that it's doing, you give it a name, you give it a command, and you probably want an icon. But uh, more importantly, I am going to right click on this and hit properties of that. And again, I got to be really careful because it'll terminate my video if, if I uh, don't be careful with these. So it's going to be using the shutdown dash R now command. A little different from this one. But I'll show you those. I'll show you all three at the same time. So what's in a name? Well, give it a name. What do you want to call this thing? Well, we're doing the shutdown. Well, you can also call it reboot, right? Or actually, this is a reboot, because that's what the command is. So, ah, so that's important to understand, even though that's a shutdown command. So let's think about this thing. How about power off? No, that's that wouldn't work. That doesn't describe what it's doing. Reboot, restart. That's a better word. Mm. Sorry, I'm gonna turn off my caps lock key. So again, what's in a name? Reboot or restart? I'm going to use the word now because I'm going to emphasize that this does that particular command right away. Comments are optional. So I'm going to use the same command. If you can't read this, again, I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. All my videos have timelines and chapters, and I highly encourage that you subscribe so you can watch this at your leisure when you have time to go through this. But more importantly, the command is shut down, lowercase, space, dash, R. R for restart, R for reboot. And then another space and N-O-W. All right, so what does this command actually do? Well, the now part means when I double click on the icon, because I'm placing it on my desktop, performs it immediately. Does that make sense? The shutdown means that it's gonna shut down my machine, but then I added the dash R, which means it's gonna reboot after it shuts down. Hopefully that was clear. The no icon I'm gonna click. And now you have all kinds of choices. So if I use the all icons field, and I, I'm gonna type in shut, and allow you to see that it does have a shutdown key, which I'm using over here on this one. How about a reboot? It does have a system reboot, but it's a black one. I'm using black wallpaper. That probably wouldn't work too well for me. So I probably would not use that currently. I could use the AC adapter. I could pick any icon from the system. I can even click on silly stuff. So emojicons, whatever it might be. Tired guy, or you can bring your own icons. Go to Image Files. Now I have another hard drive in here because this is a demo machine. And I have lots of files on this backup drive that I added into my Documents folder. And one of them is an icon folder. Some of you folks have seen my videos for the first time. And some of you folks know where I'm going with this. So I brought this folder in from that drive and pasted it in here. So anytime you use icons from your own personal folders, you downloaded them off the internet, you made your own icons. It doesn't matter. Basically, don't move the folder after you start using one or more icons. With that said, I have a ton of icons in here. Some of them I made, some of them I downloaded and edited, and some of them I just straight downloaded. Okay, with that said, I have choices, right? So uh, a re reboot icon, what would that look like? Well, it could be anything. I could use something like this. Or I could use silly stuff. Like that. What I want you to focus in on is the command line. Now I pulled this icon from the system. 
It's just an icon. What I want you to focus in on is not the uh, stormtrooper or the little clock. I want you to focus in on the command lines. Shut down lowercase space dash r dash now. All that says is shut down the machine and then reboot it. So that hopefully was clear. Then I'm going to hit create. Now the size of your icons and text on your desktop all depend on two things. Right click, desktop settings, icons. Whatever your icon size is set and whatever font sizes are set. In either case, both of these icons do the same job. They're different icons and different text, but they all or both have in common the command. So that's the Stormtrooper command, and this is the Clock command. You can actually see the symbol right there. You get the idea? Okay, so I'm looking at the Launcher command. They're both shut down space R now. Can you place these on your panel? You can, absolutely. There are two ways of doing it. Just got done with settings here. It's a firmware update. All right, so basically I'm gonna deal with that later. Um, I have a couple of choices. Now I could right click on this icon and open with Create Launcher on Panel, which puts it in the corner. Or I could actually drag it down here and shake it a little bit until I get a red line. It doesn't matter which one I do. I'll use this one. I'll shake it around a little bit until I get a plus. And now you hit Create Launcher. I can do this to any of these icons. But I'm going to discuss something important for you right now. So all of these icons are single click icons. That means that if I click that icon, it's going to reboot my machine. So this is where I'm going to throw a little caution to the wind. If you decide to create these icons, whether it's a shutdown icon or a reboot icon, it doesn't matter. That's what they're going to perform when you click them. So be very careful about putting icons on your panel. Okay, so I'm going to unclick that, remove it. All right, so it's your desktop. All right, so this icon here I showed in my previous video on Linux Mint 21.1. XFCE desktop. That one is using a shutdown now I shut down now command. This one here is using a different command, power off command. I told you I picked some different commands today. Both of these icons are created the same way. Right click create launcher, whichever command you want to use. The one that I created here is a simpler one to use but more importantly you can use either one so we have shut down now what's another good name for this power down now I keep emphasizing the word now because the fact that when you double click these icons it doesn't ask questions it powers the system down immediately so save your work comments are optional so this one here is pretty simple that's it because that's the same command I'm using here. Power, I'm sorry, not power down. That's because I was looking at that. That's better, power off. That's more like it. I don't, do, I don't need to do anything special. It's, uh, I gave it the name power down, that's why I was thinking of that. But this is a power off command, and this is this icon right here. So what can I use for an icon for here? Well, anything. Comments are optional. Working directory, I don't use either. I don't use startup notification or run in terminal unless that command requires that because it's a very versatile tool. But in this case, I'm just using name, command, and I'm going to give it an icon. So what's in an icon? Could I use the power adapter? I could. And that would be the same icon as this. And if you want that icon that looks like that, then you just make sure that says all icons and type in shut. And it's sitting right here. Okay. So I'm going to use that one just to be funny. Again, I could use one of my own icons. This is still the same particular. These two do the exact same work. This one and that one. And actually that one also. All three of these do the same job. 
These reboot my machine, these power them off. And stays powered off, meaning I have to push the power button to get it back up and running. So one more time. This is using a power off command, and this one is using a shutdown now command. So your choice. But now you know how to make these. Can you also place them on your panel? You can. I'll even use the this icon here. Again, shake it around until you get that plus thing. There you go. Great launcher. What's my caution on this again? Well, first of all is be careful with these because you click them and it powers off the system. Just whatever you got open. You also risk when you're moving them around of doing the same thing. But again, it's your panel and it's your machine. I'm going to gently remove that icon. I can also right click, open with create launcher on panel, which sends it in the corner, just like this icon. That icon ended up here because I did panel edit and I, add, I, I used action item, action buttons, action buttons. So there's three ways. This one is a 30 second timer. That's a 60 second timer. This one is no timer. It's just waiting for me to click something. How many ways can you shut and reboot your machine? Multiple ways. Multiple ways. Thank you for watching.